like I'm getting it a haircut. It's so nice. And so warm as well. I like it a lot. Hi, my name is Lisa and I make crochet and knitting videos here on the internet and welcome to a new video. And today I'm gonna do something super exciting! Um, I'm actually making a gift for one of my friends and don't worry, I'll upload this once she's already gotten the gift but I'm making a cloud beanie or at least I already made this it's so cute I won't put it on right now because uh, I just did my hair but I'll show you later look how cute! it's just blue and with little clouds around uh, the brim and I want to make some matching mittens, which I think will be so cute. I am going to take you along in that process. I'll show you first uh, the yarn that I am using. It drops snow in, I think the color was, it says color 37, but I'll put in the screen what the color name was. And the white I'm using is a white um, acrylic wool mix from Zeeman, a Dutch store, but you could perfectly also use the white of drop snow. What I am actually going to do first is um, wash and block this crocheted cloud beanie because I made it a little bit too small. Hopefully by blocking it and stretching it a bit, it will be um, a bit more suitable for, <laughs> for my friend because it's already a bit tight on my head and I have a very small head, so yeah. I hope it will fit her. And I am actually thinking of writing a pattern on this one. So if you want to be a pattern tester, um, follow my Instagram. It's Lisa's Knit Club. And uh, yeah, I will be looking for testers very soon then. I'm very excited about this project. It's so fun designing something uh, myself. gonna start making the mittens now um, and fun fact or not so fun fact I have actually never made mittens before or crocheted them but I looked up a few patterns and it doesn't seem to be too complicated and I actually have um, this pair of mittens I mean these are knitted ones machine knit I bought them in the store a couple of years ago and I'm gonna use this, these ones just as a default like to figure out the sizing a bit. What I'm using is a six millimeter crochet hook. Uh, this yarn, I still have a bit of leftovers from the beanie uh, and I have some new skeins as well. And I'm gonna start with the ribbing. So I'm gonna cast on <coughs> some stitches and just do the ribbing in the round. And while doing this, I'm gonna listen to some Olivia Rodrigo live stuff because my friend just got tickets for us um, to go to Olivia Rodrigo's concert in June 2020, 2022, so June next year in Amsterdam and I'm super excited about this. Put your hands together for the awesome Olivia Rodrigo! <laughs> I've actually already finished one of the gloves. Sorry for not for not really showing you um, because my camera died and I had a lot of deadlines in the weekends and I just forgot to film. Basically, sorry. <laughs> but I finished this one. Uh, it turned out cute, uh, cute enough for the gift. Once I will actually write the pattern, I think I will make a few adaptations. Uh, but for now, I just have to do uh, the other mitten and finish it. And yeah, I think it's really cute. I really hope my friend will have, to have the same size hands as me because I basically modeled it on my own hands. But I love the way it turned out a lot. I can just roll up the brim and I'll show you a bit closer. Yeah, there are a few little mistakes, but 
as a gift I think it's very cute and I'm just gonna make the other one hopefully tonight I'll have time to finish it because I have to give it away in two days and I still have to wrap it and everything so finished um, the ribbing tonight now and I'm gonna finish this whole second mitten tonight hopefully but I finished the ribbing and now I've started working on the clouds and the way that I am doing this is just by following <laughs> my own pattern that I've made basically but I also for the beanie I didn't weave in the other strand all along for this one I do because I don't want to have all those loose ends um, on the inside of the mitten if you get what I mean so the result is a bit less clean than uh, with the beanie but it's more practical and we're all about practicality and meanwhile I'm watching the holiday which is one of my favorite Christmas like holiday seasoned movies so yeah I'm just chilling crocheting watching the holiday sounds like a perfect evening almost finished with this um, mitten as well I just need to close up the top part which I basically do by just decreasing a lot and then sewing it uh, together and I also need to do the thumb still and then it's done so that's super great and I want to make I think a, a pom-pom to go um, on the beanie eventually I think that would be super cute actually also an excuse for me to ah, I by the way finished the second mitten as well I think I made the thumb hole a little bit tighter on this one by accident but I'm really just too lazy to change it so I guess uh, it's just something that I have to live with or that my friend has to live with who's getting them uh, yeah so I'm gonna make the pom-pom to go on top of the beanie now I've actually I have this pompon maker that I've never used, but this is an excuse for me to use it. Let's see. Yeah, so you just wrap it around. I'm just gonna look up a video tutorial because I don't understand this. How to pompon maker. I think I did it completely right, but I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna cut some of the pieces to make the pompon look a little bit more even, I guess. Just like I'm giving it a haircut. Picnic with my best friends. We start to plan what we will do Now life's back Aim to bed, right? And everything's Let's feeling just sew it on and then see well, I How bad it is 
Leaving lipstick stains on tall glasses of wine Practically invented, being nonchalant for fun They tear apart all tear just like afternoon croissants Strolling over bridges that were built in Because I can, definitely It's actually so cute the pompon as well, I think just totally makes extra cute. Why are two people fighting on the street over there? Yeah, it's so cute. My hair is a bit chaotic because I didn't plan on putting on a beanie. It's so nice and so warm as well. I like it a lot. And here are those mittens as well. I like it a lot. I think also of making a knit version as well because this one is crocheted but I love knitting as well so maybe I might make a knitted version as well of it and yeah thank you so much for watching see you next week stay safe and doi!